S.C. and Brindy, Brenda Posey. How you doing today? Hello, any and everyone in here. Give a thumbs up. Back out of the live. Give a thumbs up and come back in. There's Ron Wilson. Ron, how are you today? How you doing? Hey! <laughs> yes, I'm so happy to be here with you all today. It's Saturday. We're going to have a fun time today. Come on in, everybody. As you come in, give a thumbs up. Lynette Peach Sangria is here. Nicole is here. How are you? Uh, what's your name? Val, Val, I don't know what your name is. Little Bit, how you doing? Latrice C, Andre, hello. Ms. Lovely, hello. Sonia, how are you? Simply Beautiful, hello. Ann and Peggy. Maddie and Felicia, hello. How you doing today? Arlene, hello. Latanya, let's see. Uh, T Tamara Hodges, Thelma. VMC is here. Hello. Juliet Henry, Debbie. Matthew Griffin, hello. Mina. Minnie and Marilyn Royal, hello. Hello to everybody. Michael's in here. How you doing? Janice is in here. How you doing? Velva, hello. Kathy, hello. Don. Hello, everybody. Listen, today is Saturday. We are going to have so much fun. I have a great recipe for you all. Just like the other day, we did a really quick and sim simple recipe. That's how this um, chicken pot pie is. It's so easy. It's so simple, and it's delicious. Hey, Coffee, how you doing? Kay Coffee is here. How are you today? Mildred, hello. Oh, you do. You love pot pie. Okay, Lynn Lang is here. Hello. How is his finger? His finger's okay. He's still in some pain, and he's just taking... Um, just Tylenol every once in a while, uh, but he's doing okay. As long as he has that, and he did, he got um, that professional brace replaced. So he has that brace and he's wearing it. When he takes the brace off, he only takes it off for five minutes at a time. And you can see the difference from the tip of his finger going from this date to maybe this date now. So when he lets the brace off, it, it looks like this. So it's getting there. Mardina, hello. Uh, uh, Heidi Fuller, how you doing today? Saj is here, hello. Maria, hello. Wax is here, it's your first live. Welcome in. Everybody, welcome Wax in. Welcome to Jeannie Young's live. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. A lot of fun here at the Young's house. Wendy is here. Barbara Sanders. Albain, uh, how do you say your name? Alana? Novi, hello. Rose, Thomas Smith, Deborah Lance, Thelma, how you doing? Derek Eads is here. He says hello to everybody. Cat Lover, how are you? Debbie Parker. Yes, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it about, let's just say another five minutes, give some people a chance to get into the live, get their ingredients, do everything. Where's the dogs? Do everything that they need to do, and then we'll get started. It's Saturday. We're going to have so much fun. Horace here is here. Hello. Horace Green. Sherry Alexander. Hello. Katina. Hello. Denise Phillips. I'm excited as always. I am too. I am too. So what do you have? What do you have? What do you, what do you got going on? Is it that? Is the new one out? The new thumbnail on there? Oh, check the thing. Check the what you call it. Hold, hold on, guys. Let me see. Let me see. I'd like to physically see it. <laughs> okay, that's for today. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Need 150 thumbs up. Everybody get, listen. I see who's in here. Ain't nobody giving a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up, back out, give a thumbs up, and then come back in. Oh, 
Oh, you see the babies behind me. I, I just heard one jump down. There's one. Look at him. He's lazy bones. Look at him. <laughs> His tail is wagging. He knows I'm talking about him. Look at that tail going. <laughs> and where's the other one? He should be. Polo, where you at, honey? Polo, where are you? He's somewhere. He could be. Oh, look. He's, look, they're right beside me. <laughs> look at him. Everybody's saying hi to you guys. Little stinkers. <laughs> Christopher Williams, how you doing? Lynn West, hello. All right, how many, Eula, how you doing? How many of y'all are ready? Or you need a little bit more time? If you need five more minutes, we can chat for five more minutes. If you're ready, Jeannie Young's gonna get up, get my apron on, hands washed. We're gonna get started. Hey, Christopher, Lottie Kenny, hello. Latanya Porter, Faith Taylor, hello, hello. Listen, y'all. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the whole world. Jeannie Young's out here doing live cooking sessions for you all on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And you know what? I'm honestly thinking about incorporating Mondays on there with the lives as well. I am. My Holy King, how you doing? My Holy King says, Jeannie Young's place is the place to be on the Saturday. Thank you. <laughs> Dog man, how you doing? Stephanie Cobbler says, how you doing? And what are we cooking? Stephanie, I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking, how are you? And we are making um, chicken pot pies. And we're also gonna be making um, the shamrock shake. Alan wanted me to make that shamrock shake. He asked several times, not even before the last live. People were asking. I think Little Bit asked as well. Are you making the shamrock shake? Today we're making it, but we're gonna make it after the live. If y'all wanna make it with me, you can. Oh, Derek Eat says, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Okay, that's great. All right, let me, uh, y'all see me. I'm looking at the microphones, get ready, get them on. Okay, let me see, LaTanya says, if I tell people, then all my Gina Young recipes will be exposed. They will know your secrets. Tell the whole world. You better tell the whole world about Jeannie Young. <laughs> that, that's not a secret. <laughs> For, yes, Ron, thank you. Oh my goodness. It's so exciting and it's such a blessing. And I would not have got here without God, first of all, and then you all, second of all. So thank you all. Thank you all for loving me. Thank you all for supporting my channel and, and just having a good time with me. Absolutely. How was St. Patrick's Day? St. Patrick's Day was okay. Um, yesterday I didn't do a video because I had a headache that was just like the worst headache ever. And I still have that, I might not look like it, but I still have that headache. That headache is still lingering on. And I told my husband, it's right on the top of my head. But, but God is going to see us through. God will see us through. Okay, so now let's get started. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm getting my microphone on. Anybody let me know. Oh, you've been subscribed since last year. That's great. Okay. Let me see something, guys. Let's see. Wanda McMorris, how you doing today? All right, there, the microphone. You'll hear the sound leave for a second, but it'll come right back in. Oh, Patty. Patty says, oh, and you spell your name like my mom used to spell her name. Uh, she spelled her name P-A-T-T-I. Mm -hmm. I think that's really unique because a lot of people spell Patty P-A-T-T-Y. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. If you're new, 
Uh, don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm new. I'm putting the microphone on, guys. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I'm new, and we can welcome you in such a way. All right, put this computer over there because I'm going to need it to read everybody's comments. Why'd you move it? Is it one? Now, you see the little one? <laughs> Thank you, Patty. I am new, and this is Sherry K. Sherry. Sherry, welcome in. Everybody, welcome Sherry to our channel. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Welcome. We're going to have a lot of fun here, Sherry. So uh, many, many welcomes to you. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Michelle H., hello. And what does Michelle H. says? I'm new, but I currently have your tuna noodle casserole cooking right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michelle, welcome in. Michelle H., thank you for coming in and joining us. We're going to have a lot of fun. Lots of fun. So, Michelle, since you're... Um, uh, oh, you have the tuna noodle casserole going today. Okay, okay, okay. And, and also, remember, Alan, how you doing? Also, remember that um, you all can watch. You can always go back and watch the replay of any live that I do. Because as soon as this live, as soon as I click off of this live with you all, I post it, you know, so it can be public. It takes a minute for the, um, let me push this down so I can see if I'm putting my apron on right. Um, I always post the uh, live, but it, it does take a little minute for the comments to come back up. So if you wanted to read those comments, I say wait about an hour, and then you'll see all the comments and you can read them. All right, let's flip this camera over. Okay, you're going to have to fix this tripod how you want it. I'm new to the live. Okay, and your name is Slugbug. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for joining us, Slugbug. Everybody, welcome. Slugbug. Let me, let me double check and make, that, make sure that is what your name is. Oh, your niece was named after you, but they misspelled it. Oh, with the Y. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right. I'm coming around. Let's get our hands clean. Get all your ingredients out. There's one thing that I'm going to need to get. Um, I, I did speak of, sorry about the dogs barking. My husband's walking in. Um, I did speak of using a potato. Uh, you can use a fresh potato, two small fresh potatoes, or you can use uh, canned potatoes, okay? So I'm going to run to my pantry real quick and grab a can of uh, potatoes. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> it's that way. <laughs> okay, y'all can follow me. You don't see me, but... But you hear me, I'm in my pantry, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm looking for a can of potatoes. There we go. <coughs> Found them. So guess what I decided to do? Tomorrow, I'm going to call the doctor. I'm going to get a hold of a specialist to see why this cough will not leave me. <coughs> Got the potatoes. This is the kind I'm going to use today. I think it's such a great idea. All right, let me get my hands and my arms nice and cleaned up, and we can get started. We need to fix the lighting. <laughs> Tell him I can hear him. <laughs> All right, I'll grab it. Got to wait a second. All right, let me wash my hands, y'all. This recipe is so easy, 
Easy peasy. Now, I can't reach it, Dakota. So you're gonna have to come grab it. I can't reach that hot sauce way up there. <laughs> okay, what I did want to say, something really quickly. If by chance, let's just say by chance, you're using fresh chicken breasts, a thin fresh chicken breast, then you're going to need to take your chicken breasts and cut them into to cubes, okay? So just slice it and then cut it into cubes, okay? I'm going to move my ingredients so you all can see everything that's going on here. <laughs> Gina Bo says, oh boy, I love Saturdays with you. I love Saturdays with you. Thank you. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Oh, y'all, so uh, as I was saying, I am just totally so excited about, like I said, we're going to get a hold of a specialist so we can figure out why this cough, This because this cough is driving me completely, totally nuts, and I have to figure it out. So what would I do? Would I go to a pump? What's the word? I, I feel like I want to say pulmonologist. What the heck is the word? Somebody tell me what the word is. Like the breathing. <clears throat> I made your other chicken pot pie. It was delicious. Why do I feel like I want to say pomologist? Pomologist. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get it together. I'll figure it out. If I have to Google it, I will. Krista, my holy king is laughing. Pulmonary, pulmonary, pulmonary. There you go. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> so now, first thing that I want for you all to do. <clears throat> I didn't say hi to you yet. Oh, that's Derek Eads. Oh, okay. Hi, Derek Eads. How are you? <clears throat> It's okay. Sonia is cracking up. I almost had it. Pulmonary. Pulmonary. Is that right? I, I think I, all, I had the word. I was this close to saying the word right, right? <laughs> Nellie, how you doing? All right. So one of the first things that we are going to do is it, a Debbie, Debbie French. I'm totally thinking that's what it was. Because this cough has been since, like, September. And it's not going away. You know, and my doctors, they did assure me, like, lady, you're not sick anymore. You do have mucus, but it, it's getting in the way of my sleep, you know. So, but, but we'll see. And I'm going to keep you all updated on the whole situation. Okay. <clears throat> so, first thing that we are going to do is if you got raw chicken, you slice it. You cut it up into squares. How big are squares? However big you want your pieces in your chicken pot pie. <clears throat> okay, so I will show you the type of chicken that I decided to use today, which is really interesting. <clears throat> this little, it's pre-cooked chicken pieces. Look at that. And of course, that's too big. So what we will be doing, I'm going to pour some out onto my cutting board. We're going to chop it down a little bit. And the first things that we're going to cook would be some onion. And the onion is only if you want to use it, OK? There's a lot of people out there in the world that don't like onion. If you're that person, just leave it out. It'll still be delicious, OK? So what I want you all to do right now is cut up or pull apart some chicken, whatever you need to do. You may be the person that's using canned chicken. And that's fine, too. It's going to be totally delicious. You might be using a rotisserie chicken. Somebody might be boiling some chicken right now, OK? So any way you want to do it, that's fine. <clears throat> if you don't want to boil the chicken, you can turn around and saute it up with our onions, OK? Because that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut down this chicken. We're going to cut down a little bit of onion. We're going to saute it in this pan. 
and a teeny tiny bit of oil, okay? So let's get started. Let's turn that camera this way. <clears throat> I hope you all are having a great day today. Somebody in the comment section let me know that you're excited. If you are cooking with Gina Young, give me a thumbs up or, or give me a red heart letting me know that you're cooking with me so I can have an idea who all is going to be cooking with me today. Can you use rotisserie chicken? Absolutely. You can use chicken from last night's dinner, a rotisserie chicken, Canned chicken, pre-cooked chicken, raw chicken, anything you decide to use, it can work for this here recipe, okay? All right? And it's not going to put you behind either if you have the fresh chicken because you're only going to be cooking a little bit of chicken, right? It's not going to take forever and a day for it to cook. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of people. So Patty Carpenter's cooking, Wanda McMorris, Cynthia S., Valencia, Janice, okay, this is great. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so love him first says, I'm excited to be cooking with Gina Young. Okay, Anna is cooking. This is great. So let's go ahead. <clears throat> Chop up some onion. Keep in mind, if you don't want to use onion, don't use it. Okay, it's going to add extra flavor. <clears throat> You, and you'll notice I'm not using a whole lot of onion. Just that little bit right there. Oh, that little bit right there is plenty enough, okay? So <clears throat> let me show you the pan that I have where we're going to heat everything up. It's just a simple pan here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab just a little tiny bit of oil, about maybe a tablespoon and a half. If you don't want to use oil, you can use butter, okay? I'm going to use a little bit of oil. <clears throat> All right, watch that, a little bit, that's it. <clears throat> Let's get this onion in and then we're going to chop down our chicken. I don't have the pan on right now. I figure we can cook our chicken and our onions together. Okay, if you have raw chicken, go ahead and turn the pan on now, okay? So if you take a look at my chicken pieces, I'm just chopping it down. It's already in cubes, but I want my cubes, you know, roundabout like that. This chicken is absolutely beautiful. It's a grilled chicken, and it's simple, it's delicious, and it doesn't cost a lot. Look at that big piece right there. It really almost reminds you of rotisserie chicken. And yes, it is pre-cooked. So you could eat this right out the bag or toss it on to you know, a salad if you want it to. <clears throat> See, life's beauty, how you doing? What's your name, Sonata, hello? Okay, love him first says you had to put what out there? Let's see. Miss Gina and him is our Heavenly Father. Miss Gina and him is our Heavenly Father. I don't understand the message. <clears throat> Love onions, need your recipe. Mine is always dry. Oh, Patty. Okay, well, I got you. I got you right here. This one will not be dry. It's going to be so tasty. All right. Chopping down some chicken. We're going to be cooking this mixture on like a medium heat. And then once we put like our cream of chicken or your cream of mushroom into the mixture, we're going to turn it down because we don't want our heavy cream and our cream soups to burn. Okay. Now you put in the desired amount of meat that you would like to put in yours. Okay. Don't have to have it overwhelmed with too much meat, but you want to have enough to where if you take a bite, you get at least one piece of meat, you know, on your fork, okay? So now we're going to be cooking these pies on 325 degrees, okay? Yes, 
25 degrees. Genus, let me see. I was trying to read Kay Coffee's message, but I think I clicked too fast. my holy king doing today? Yep, 300. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> All right, I feel like I definitely have enough chicken here, okay? So take a look. Take a look at what we have. And then I have plenty of chicken left over for my little puppies. They're going to totally be excited about chicken today for their dinner. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's get our pans turned on to medium, maybe medium high if you want it to. Okay? And we're going to have that little bit of oil. You're going to have the onions and your chicken. Let's go ahead and put it in. Just like so, like I said. Ron Wilson has a question. Okay, Ron, what's your question? Go ahead and ask me while I'm looking. You're new here, and your name is Danielle Rhymes. I'm making this tomorrow for Sunday dinner. Should I make a side dish, or is this enough? Well, this is going to have your meat. This is going to have your vegetables and your carbs, so this is enough. Ron, what's your question? Yes, if you boiled your chicken in a pot, whatever seasonings, that's fine. That's, that's what I want you to do, okay? That's great. Any kind of way you can get that chicken cooked, that is just fine. You know, even if you threw it in the microwave to cook it, right? It, absolutely, that's great. I'm happy with that. So now let me ask you this, Ron. Is your chicken done? Or are you, you know, cooking it right now? Prince and Polo are so cute. Thank you. Yes, that's okay. Is your, is your chicken done right now? De Deanne is saying, welcome, Daniel. You're going to love this channel. Welcome, Daniel. You are. You're going to love it here at the Young's house, okay? So now, turn your pan on. And I need that plugged in. This needs to be plugged in. Sexual chocolate is in here and says, I want a big plate. Welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Oh, Ron says, okay, thank you. I'm a little late, but I'm here, says Alyssa. Alyssa, you're never too late. I'm just happy to have you here. So now what we can do, if your chicken's already seasoned, then you can just skip this part, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of salt, just a little bit, a little bit of onion and garlic powder, just like that, okay? Let's cook this till it gets nice and warm. And then I'm going to be telling you all the perfect time to put in the frozen vegetables and also the potato. Now, let's talk about if you're using canned potato, then you don't have to put your potatoes in now. If you're using a raw potato, you're going to peel that potato. You're going to cut it the same size as your chicken pieces. Okay, you only need like one or two potatoes. Really, you might only need one potato. You're going to peel it, chop it up into little squares, throw it right in with the chicken, the onion, and you'll put potatoes in there as well so we can begin to soften them, okay? Now, since my potatoes are in the can, I'm going to get the can opener, I'm going to open them, and I'm just going to slice them down to little cubes, okay? 
Chanel, hello. Thank you for coming in. All right, I'm grabbing my can opener here. Instant potatoes, I didn't think. Yeah, no instant potatoes. Um, what do you, instant potatoes are the powdered potatoes. Now, these potatoes, believe it or not, Ron, um, I don't know if you're talking about these. These are delicious. It's just regular boiled potatoes, right? We buy them here at the Young's house, and they're just in water. They're already peeled, and um, some of them, you can buy them in dices. These are little ones like this, uh, so I'm going to slice them down a little bit. But they are delicious and already cooked for you. So if you all have never had potatoes this way, try them one time. Just try them one time. Throw them in some green beans when you cook them, and you're going to say, wow, they are delicious. Yes, that's what Maria says. So you can buy them in the cubes, too. Absolutely you can. So what's your name? Akila Presley. Never would have thought of getting the potatoes in the can. Thank you for the tip. You're very welcome. Now, what I did um, in the community post that I posted, I said um, you can use fresh potatoes or potatoes in a can. Take, come take a look. Take a look. Regular potatoes already cooked, delicious every time. So a recipe like this will really benefit from, you know, save you some time, okay? Yes, yes it does. Oh, see, Lynn says, I always use those in soups. Okay, Patty Carpenter says, I never use canned potatoes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, y'all have, have to try it. But like I said, if you're using the fresh potato, go ahead, peel that baby. I think you only need one or two little small ones. Peel it, chop it into cubes, put it in with your meat and your onion. Everything's beginning to cook up just like so. Just let it be. It's fine. Okay, Patty says, but I will now. <laughs> okay. So I've drained a little bit of water that was on our potatoes. Okay, it's usually about one, two, three, four, five, seven potatoes in this can. I'm gonna go ahead and use all of them. All right, I love having a pot pie and you get that potato in there. It's delicious, right? Absolutely. Okay, I boiled my two small potatoes and cooked them in my chicken broth. Is that okay? Absolutely. So Sonia says, well, I love this channel. I learn something new each live. Sonia, thank you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to have you here with us. I'm glad that you are enjoying and learning things every live. You know, that's what I'm here for. I want to, I, I, I just, I want to teach the world great recipes, easy food tricks. You know, I, I, I really do. So, so that really makes me happy. So Michelle H. says, first time I've heard of canned potatoes, but I'm all about easy and saving time. Absolutely. Well, why not? All right. Come on in, y'all. And you can do like this. Cut them babies. Oh, and guess what? If you're a person that loves German potato salad, you can use this and get these potatoes nice and warm and make German potato salad out of these potatoes, right? Talk about a quick, easy recipe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you make it, make it Jeannie Young style. I believe I got a German potato salad recipe out there. <laughs> Just chopping them down. Now, once you put this into something, be careful so that you don't mash them up. You know, we don't want to turn these into mashed potatoes which could happen if you're not careful when you're stirring. So we'll wait a minute before we will put the potatoes in at the last minute. But if you're cutting fresh potatoes, put yours in now. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Everybody doing okay? 
Debbie Sinclair, how are you? I learn a lot from your, uh, let's see. I learn a lot from your small thanks. Can you use the bag of potatoes? Absolutely you can. Uh, are you speaking of the bag of um, frozen potatoes? Sure you can, but you only need a little bit, you know. This is all I need right there. I'll save these right here for the dogs. And then I'll give the dogs some chicken. And that'll be their dinner for today. A couple potatoes for them and some chicken, and they are set, right? Can you show the can of, okay, can you show the canned potatoes? She wants to know the brand. The brand is, it, it's in the um, trash, but it was just a store name brand. So when you go to your local market and you're in the vegetable aisle, they're going to have name brand ones, and then they're going to have the store name brand ones. It was just a store name brand. It's in the trash. Okay. Yes, 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 there are store name brands, uh-huh. Oh, so right now, everything's smelling so good. If you're doing the fresh chicken, it's going to smell good. And if you want to season it, go ahead and season. Now, a lot of people like to say, Gina, those cream soups, they have salt in it, which is true. So if you don't want to put salt onto your meat, you don't have to, okay? Oh, beautiful. The onions are beginning to get nice and translucent, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now I need to know, is everybody ready to move on? The dogs, they are. They're living their life. They get what they want to eat. <laughs> they do. If they want roast beef, they can have it. <laughs> if they want hamburger, they can have it. They can have chicken. They eat fruit. They are so stinking spoiled. They got a haircut, too on Thursday, so I'm definitely going to show y'all the puppies. They look so adorable right now. Okay, so now's the perfect time. Somebody let me know how you're doing. If you're cooking with me, tell me you're ready for me to move on to the next step, okay? Do you have to rinse the canned potatoes? I don't rinse them. I just poured them right off of the water that was in there. Uh, but absolutely, you can rinse them. That's a great question. When using the frozen bag, will you put them in last as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, yeah. The pups are flying. <laughs> How about mango pie? A little bit mango pie sounds absolutely delicious right now with a little bit of vanilla ice cream, right? Oh, listen here. The can, Gina, threw it in the trash, says the whole white potatoes. It does, it does. Thank you. Should my hair be, okay, this is Marcella Muhammad. Should my hair be pulled back in my kitchen and I'm cooking for my family? I'm not, I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> All right, move on to the next level. Okay. All right, so now, next thing that we can do is we can take our mixed vegetables. If you have one bag, that's fine. If you want to use one and a half bags, two bags, However much vegetables you want to use is absolutely fine, okay? Let's get those frozen vegetables right in with our chicken, our onions, okay? And if you have fresh potatoes, then your fresh potatoes are right in there. I, you know what? I feel like one bag is completely enough. I'm going to use that one bag. Yes, absolutely. Okay, <laughs> Sonia says, yes, please, let's move on. <laughs> yes, it is cake coffee, because you know. Absolutely, Jody. Thank you for coming in, Jody, and joining us. 
everything is smelling so good right now. Everything smells good. So now, go ahead. Here's what I want y'all to do. Oh, mango cheesecake. Oh, my goodness. What you say? Mango cheesecake sounds absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and turn our oven on 325 degrees. I tell you what, Alan, I'm really excited. Guess what I'm excited for? The shamrock shake. We're making the shamrock shake here at the Young's house. We're going to have a fun time making it, okay? But we're going to do it when everything's done. Is Raymond and Drew here? I thought I saw, or I saw Christopher, okay. Come, come in, y'all. I want you to look at the mixture that we have going on. Gorgeous. Look how fresh it is. This is definitely a year-round recipe. You can make it for the summer. I, I know a lot of I, I know a lot of people say they don't want to turn the oven on in the summertime. I'll turn my oven on in the summertime to make something like this. Yes, I will. The springtime, the winter, and the fall. This recipe is being made at the Young's house. Okay, look at that. Oh way. All right. So now, take your potatoes. If your potatoes are already cooked, throw them in. How exciting. Ooh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Patty says, yum. I know, right? This is the beginning of how you make the pot pie fillings. And listen, ever had a pot pie and you were eating it? It totally was delicious, right? Yes, it was delicious. We sometimes buy the frozen pot pies because they're so delicious, right? But you got to eating it and you wish there were more potatoes in it or you wish there was one more piece of meat in there. You kind of move around that, you know, they give you like four pieces of meat and you keep moving around it because you want to save it. Well, see, the good thing about making it at home is you throw in as much as you want. If you want to do the beef, then you're going to use um, stewed beef for this recipe, chunk it up, and just throw it in, do the same thing. I suppose there's going to be somebody out there that could say, uh, Gina, could you do a seafood pot pie? And I'd like to say yes, although I have not, but you could. <laughs> By the time... By the time you're paying, by, <laughs> yeah, you're going to eat it all because it is. It's that delicious. All right, so here's what we're going to do now. <laughs> Check me out. Let's go ahead and grab some butter. We're going to use a little less than um, a half a stick. So we're not using a half a stick. Let's use less than a half a stick, about three tablespoons. Three tablespoons is going to make it nice and rich. Now, if you want to skip the butter, absolutely you can, okay? I'm putting three tablespoons in, okay? Gonna make it so rich and just beautiful. Open up your cream soup. You may love cream of celery. You may love cream of mushroom. That's fine. Use whichever kind you like, okay? What you got? Dakota. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay, Sonia, this pan right here is um, T-file. It's the T and the F-A-L. It has like a red circle in the middle. I happen to love T-file pots and pans, and that, that is this one here. And I did purchase it from Amazon, okay? Royalty Queen, hello. Uh oh, the party didn't start until the butter showed up. Okay, okay, I like that one because butter is everything and butter will give you an amazing taste. 
even if that butter is unsalted, butter gives so much flavor, you hear me, to a recipe. Yes, it does. All right, so let's mix in that cream of chicken soup, okay? Now, I told you all to get two cans of cream of chicken soup. What I would like for you to do is please stir it around first before using the two cans. See if you need that second one, okay? Because sometimes, all depending on how much meat and vegetables I use, I need that second can, but sometimes I don't. So let's stir it around and see if we do, okay? A rule of thumb, you should always use unsalted butter for cooking and baking, says sangria. Okay, okay, I like that. I do like that. All right, look at what we have here. My goodness. Oh, we have glory. <laughs> I, that's the only word I could think of because it's so beautiful. So now I feel like the one can of the cream of chicken is great. Next thing we can do. You like tea fowl and that's what you have, T. Smith. Okay, next thing that we're going to do we're going to take that heavy cream that I spoke of, okay? We're going to put some in here until we get the perfect consistency that we're looking for, okay? What's the consistency? Well, it's hard for me to tell you, but I can show you if you're looking, okay? So at this point, turn the heat down to like, uh, let's just say a low, okay? Turn the heat down. Okay, so Sheila Mack, welcome in. I watched on my TV but logged out to give you a thumbs up. I've been following you for some years now, but I never chat. Sheila Mack, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you messaging me, you know, and, and telling me that you've been watching for a while. It's nice to see new faces in here, and welcome so much. You all welcome, Sheila Mack. We greatly appreciate you coming in and joining us today. We have a fun time here at the Young's House on Saturday, and you are more than welcome to come back in every Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, so now check me out. When it comes to the heavy cream, we're going to put some on just to loosen up this, okay? Not to make it real, real soupy, but we want to loosen it up just by a little bit. Okay, see how it loosened up? Oh, man, this right here, listen, I, listen, I'm getting all excited. I can eat this just like this with the biscuit on top. Yes, just put, just put some of this in the bottom of a bowl and slap a biscuit. You know one of those fro frozen biscuits you throw in the oven? Slap a biscuit right on top. This right here is everything. All right, so imagine once it gets into that pie crust. Okay, so you see the consistency. Come back in. Somebody right now is wondering, are they putting enough heavy cream in? Okay, so at this point, that's the only um, heavy cream that I'm going to use. I don't need any more. We don't want it thick like plaster, and you don't want it loose like um, soup. Okay? That's what you want it to look like. Okay? You got any e extra heavy cream left over, use it for your coffee in the morning, okay? Throw a little bit of vanilla extract in it to give it some flavor. <laughs> I know, I know, I always got some tricks up my sleeve. Hold on, guys, I'm coming right back. Turn the, um, turn the heat off. Turn it come completely off. I am burning up. Anytime I start cooking a good recipe, y'all, I start getting hot. So you know it's some good food being cooked when I start getting hot and asking for the fan to turn on. Turn the fan on for me. <laughs> turn the fan on, please. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, y'all. Where, you said, where am I? Here I am. I'm wiping my face because I'm a little hot. But I'm back. But I'm back. 
Okay. Look at this. <laughs> we got filling. Next thing that I want y'all to do, I want to put some black pepper in, okay? Because I did not put black pepper in. Black pepper is going to give you antioxidants and also a nice flavor, okay? And also one thing I want to talk about, uh, when you season with your, uh, thank you, Phil. Thank you for all your recipes. I love your channel. Phil, thank you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. You're more than welcome to come in on any live that Jeannie Young does, okay? <laughs> he says it's getting hot in here. Okay, so now, if at any time you are more than welcome to taste, taste it and see if you need seasoning. Well, you're not trying to take a whole, lot, a whole big spoonful but what you do want to do is see how I coated the spoon and the sauce? Let's taste the sauce. See if you're happy with the flavor of that sauce that's coating the spoon. If you're happy with that, then we can proceed with filling up our pie crust, okay? So I'm tasting mine. <laughs> ah, mm, mm, mm. It's good. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that tastes good. Okay. All right, let's grab your pie crust. I tell you what, mm, mm, mm. that is very good. Do you need mushroom soup? Um, or can you just use the heavy cream? You don't need mushroom soup. If you want to use mushroom soup, you can, right? Um, I like the consistency. I like the richness and the velvety that the heavy cream gives. If the camera can come in one more time, let's show the people one more time. Go ahead and turn your burner off. Look at the consistency. This right here is absolutely stunning. You bet it is, okay? So now, your pie crust, you have two of them. Okay, eh, my holy king, it looks so good, I can almost taste it. Absolutely, thank you. So now, here's what we're gonna do. Make sure your oven's preheated, 325 degrees. Let me ask before I move on, Rhonda Prelo says, Gina, I love the way you cook. Can you please come in and move with me? I won't be charging you rent. <laughs> oh, Rhonda. <laughs> Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. Okay, listen. Um, we are going to use Michelle H. Thank you. I love, I love your channel and want to support you. Thank you, Michelle. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to my channel. And just like I said to um, the last person, hey, come in on the Super Chats. I mean, come in on the lives. Come in on the lives. I appreciate you being here. Wednesday and Saturday, Jeannie Young goes live. And we just, listen, we have a good time. We just have a good time. So welcome, welcome, Michelle, and thank you. All right, look at this. Let's do it. It's time to do it. Put your filling into the pie crust. Thank you all for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. <clears throat> Look at that. Somebody say yes, amen. Oh, wait. Thank you, Lord. This is great. Oh, I couldn't be more excited. So now, imagine, just imagine having a chicken pot pie that has all this filling, all this meat and stuffing in the inside. Now, I do come, come take a look. I got a little tiny bit left that I cannot fit in there. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put it into a bowl and, you know, I can just eat that filling like that. It will not get wasted, okay? Let me grab a bowl now. <clears throat> Heck no, it ain't going to get wasted. You could, like I said, you could have this with bread, maybe a biscuit. Uh, after I scrape this pan, I will show you what the inside of the pan looks like. Okay, 
So y'all can see the big red T in the middle for tea fowl. That's the pan, I love it. The food does not stick to it and it, it makes me happy, you know? All right, so kind of smooth out your mixture just like so in this manner, okay? Now, you can use, let's talk about something really quickly. You can use an egg and water mixture to um, make the top of the chicken pot pie gorgeous, okay? Or you could use melted butter on the top. I feel like I'm just going to use two, um, two eggs, a little tiny bit of water, and we're just going to brush it onto the top of the crust, throw it into the oven. And guess what? We're going to let that baby cook. How quick and simple and easy was this recipe? It was simple. It was easy. And I feel like it was quite fun. Uh-oh, I can't with you, Gina. You cooking be looking superb. <laughs> You're cooking be looking superb. Thank you, Sonia. Love your kitchen, Patty. Thank you. Okay, so listen. My whole purpose of telling you all to make sure that your pie crust is thawed out is so we can put the pie crust onto there. If your pie crust, let's just say somebody didn't read the, the notification and your pie crust is frozen, <clears throat> it's okay. No worries because I've done it before. You're just simply going to take your finger between this silver piece and you're going to peel the silver piece off of the pie crust, pop the pie crust onto here frozen. Okay? If you put it on thawed out like mine's is or if you put it on frozen, it works both ways, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay it right on top, okay? And I'm going to kind of ease off this silver piece, okay? Come on off, come on off. <coughs> Excuse me, sometimes you have to kind of work it off with your fingers, you know, but, but it'll come out, just be patient. We got all day, okay? No rushing. So what do we have? Oh my goodness, Gina, so this is really getting interesting. You bet it is, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the two pie crust. Cut, can the camera show them what we're doing here? I'm just pressing my thumb, can they see that, into the pie crust so the two pie crusts can kind of touch each other and mend together, okay? We're not trying to do nothing beautiful and spectacular, okay? We're not trying to crimp it or anything. Let's just make sure that the two touch and they mend together. If at any time you feel like you need to use a little bit of water on your fingertips, to seal it, you can, okay? Any way you do it, it's gonna work out. Making sure that your oven is preheated to 325 degrees, okay? Now, now that I've mended everything together, I'm just gonna kind of smooth it. Just smooth it. Smooth those edges, making sure that they're nice and sealed. No rushing, we got all, all the time in the world. It's Saturday, ain't nobody got work today. <laughs> All right, the crescent roll sheets are good for the top also. They are sweet and buttery, says Mary Jane. Oh, Mary Jane, what? Hey, that's a great idea. You bet it is. So now, this top piece, let it fall like it may. However it wants to fall, it'll fall, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a little X in the middle. And the X in the middle is going to be a ventilation vent to let air escape, okay? Come in with the camera so we can show them, okay? Watch this, nothing special. Don't go all the way down to the bottom, of course, but go deep as the crust goes. There's one part of our X. There's another part of our X, okay? Boom, or cross. I'm gonna put a little more vent holes, come in, 
so they can see just a couple more like I'm making, you know, a sun or something. You see those little holes? That's it. Okay? So now, if you want to use milk, if you want to use butter, if you want to use egg like I'm doing today, you can use egg, and we're going to paint it onto here, and then we're going to be getting this into the oven, okay? And then, guess what time it's going to be? It's going to be time. It's going to be time to make um, shamrock shakes. I know there's somebody out there that's really excited about that. I know you are. All right. Miss Karen, do you have a question? <laughs> it sure looks pretty. Thank you, Jan. You're cooking with me. Okay. Oh, you're doing landscaping. I love, I love landscaping. So you got good weather going on right now? Okay, I got a new thing of water here. I got two eggs. I might only need one. I'm going to go ahead and crack two. Oh, my goodness. What is peach sangria saying? Okay, let's see. Loved your crock pot Philly cheesesteak recipe. I never did a crock pot Philly cheesesteak recipe. Prince, you might be mixing me up with somebody else. Okay, so I have two eggs here. Let's blend them up just like so. Y'all know how to mix two eggs together, okay? I got some fresh water here. Just gonna put a tiny bit in. That was literally like a teaspoon or less, okay? Really, really work in that water into the eggs and then we're gonna paint it onto the crust and what that's gonna create is a beautiful golden brown crust that gets nice and crispy, okay? Um, and like I said, sometimes I'll use milk or sometimes, you know, different things. Uh, I've even used egg yolks just plain egg yolks, and it gives a great, gorgeous color. Thumbs up the live, back out to give a thumbs up, and then come back in. Okay, so now let's go ahead, take some of this, and just paint it just like so. Okay, get all the nooks and crannies. Okay, so we can get a gorgeous color onto our crust, okay? Okay. This part is simple. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I, you might be mixing me up with that Philly cheesesteak crock pot recipe. I've never made a recipe like that. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done coating this just like so. And our oven is preheated, so we're going to get this into the oven. Now, this typically may cook for about 45 minutes, okay? But, like I said, we have the time. It, it, at some point, it's going to puff up real high, right? But then when you take it out of the oven, it'll, it'll go back down, you know, to a regular size. All right, I'm so happy with this. This is so exciting. My family couldn't be more excited for this recipe. Somebody out there tell me how easy this recipe was. And if you want to, just to make sure that everything's nice and sealed, just go through one more time, making sure that everything is nice and closed up. It is a nice pie crust hack method. Thank you, Shar. Instant Pot, maybe? No, I didn't do it through Instant Pot either. Nope. <laughs> I 
I did a Philly cheesesteak, um, uh, what's it called? Huh? Uh, what is it called? I did a Philly cheesesteak quesadilla, Philly cheesesteak sandwich, Philly cheesesteak biscuit, and that's about it. And none of them was in the Instapot. <laughs> Or, or the crock pot. Let's go ahead and get this into the oven. When you put this into the oven, I want you all to put it in a middle rack, okay? In the middle rack, 325 degrees until it's done. And the next thing we're gonna do, if you all are, uh, wanna see a great recipe for how to make the shamrock shake, Jeannie Young's got the recipe, I'm going to show you all how once this gets into the oven. Let's put it in. I'm going to put mine on a cookie sheet. Yep. Because I want to make sure that if any juices overflow, that it flows onto my cookie sheet. Into the oven we go. When I come back, I'm grabbing all my ingredients and we're gonna make the shamrock shake together. Once this gets into the oven, don't go bothering it. All right. If you cooked with me, somebody tell me you're doing okay. How you doing? How you doing? What makes it green? We're gonna put some food coloring in there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we're gonna put some green food coloring in there. Yes, we are. Now, if you didn't wanna do that, you could always use pistachio pudding mix, which is already that beautiful green color, or you could use um, uh, like the mint chocolate chip ice cream that is already that color, okay? But I'm gonna do the recipe that you all are familiar with so let's get started. Now, okay, but, but before we get started, for everybody that cooked with me, for everybody that cooked with me, uh, let me know, did you put yours in the oven yet? And are you ready to move on to the shake? Yes, Cynthia, Cynthia says, Gina, I'm so proud of myself, I did it. Yes, you did. And, and I love that. <laughs> Sonia, you are so funny. She said, don't go bothering with that chicken pie while it's in the oven. <laughs> I love you too, Cheryl. Thank you for coming in and joining. G. Hughes, hello. I'm finally here. Their geese need a leprechaun to make it green. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So now... <laughs> All right, where's my ingredients? All right, I got some beautiful glasses here. Okay, I'm just gonna set them over there for the time being. Y'all funny, a lot of people went wrong with the cheesecake, with the cheesesteak. Oh, you're fine, Trin, you're never too late. You went on a commercial break, you'll be back, okay. I love you too, Ma what's your name? Michelle, thank you. All right, so now this is how it's done. Well, first what I wanna do, I wanna clean up a little bit. Can you turn that fan down this way? Did you turn the, the heat off? Okay. We got the maraschino cherries. You gotta have maraschino cherries. Yes, you do. Peppermint extract or mint extract. Okay. It's gonna give that minty flavor. Heidi says, cooking with Gina is fantastic. Thank you, Heidi. All right, I got my mint. Extract, it smells so good. Make sure when you use this mint extract, you use a little tiny bit, okay? But I, I, I'm gonna show you. 
Jackie says, I'm ready for the shake. Okay. And then I got green food coloring. Okay. Got to make it look shamrock color. And you're going to need some cool whip. Some people like to say ready whip or, or heavy whipping. Some people call it all kinds of different stuff. <laughs> huh? Put this on my toothbrush? Who will? You're going to put the, Dakota just said he's going to put this green dye on my toothbrush. Lord, look at my fingers. It's already on my fingers. That's good enough. <laughs> he said my teeth are going to look like this. <laughs> You better not. <laughs> We're going to have a serious problem. No, you're going to have a problem. All right. All right. <laughs> I know. Yeah, put, put like a tab where you could pull it off, you know, without getting that all over you. That is funny, right? Okay. So now I'm going to grab the ice cream out, and I'm going to bring my mix. Now. If you have a handheld beater with the two beaters, you can use that. If you have a blender, which I never have a blender, I'm going to use my food processor. Okay? Great idea. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> Sonia's laughing at Dakota. They are laughing at Dakota. Oh, my goodness. He said, y'all, what would I do if he turned my teeth green? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he would get it so bad. And I would post it. I would say, uh-huh, everybody that laughed at him, he in trouble now. <laughs> I, got the, I got the whipped cream. I always like to get the, the um, extra creamy kind. Okay, so let me get the ice cream. I'm, I'm really glad to be able to do this for you all. Um, I can, uh-oh, something fell. Hold on, guys. I am really glad to be able to do this for you all. I, I can remember, I, I thought it was Alan and Little Bit. I just felt like everybody was asking me, are you going to make the shamrock shake? And so here we are. Oh, you have the blender and the Nutribullet. Okay. I know. My face would look like that, Derek. Brenda Willis, how you doing? I'm having a great time today with you, Gina. Oh, Brenda, thank you. I'm so glad you are. I'm glad you're having a great time. I, I always pray. I always pray that we have a great time. I didn't even mind with washing that off my finger. I don't... I feel like it's not going to come off my finger right now. Let's see. And it's not. It ain't even thinking about coming off my finger. <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's coming off a little bit. Is my face oily? It is? Okay. Hold on, y'all. I got to powder my face a little bit. Because I felt like it was. Uh-uh. Don't put don't don't push down on that heart. Okay, that feels so much better. It does. When I when I'm in here cooking and I'm standing beside that oven, it gets so hot. You hear me? Oh way. Ron turned on me. <laughs> uh, he did. He said, Ron turned on me. Good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> bacon, so uh -huh, bacon soda will help. Look, so now, let me make sure my mixer is working first, okay? Let me just do something real quick. Okay, I got to get it plugged in first. Let me test it because it's been a minute since I've used it. Okay, come on. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a funny song I have in my head. And uh, I can't get the song out of my head. Hold, hold on. Let me get this thing going first. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay. All right, and then we'll test it. Okay. Let's see, something, 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 something. Let, let me see. Why are you not turning on? I don't know. Check and see if it's plugged up. Check and see. Because we might not be making shakes. Look and see. Hold on, guys. <laughs> he said, it's OK, Dakota. You're still my buddy. <laughs> Publix ice cream. This is actually, um, this ice cream came from Kroger. But any kind of ice cream, you know. Oh, you turned the lights out. Let's see, I might need to do it this way. Hold on, y'all, just bear with me. I'm going to take this off. Take that out. Well, Alan, I hope we can make your, sham, your shamrock shake. Oh, that might be it. That just might be it. There it is. Okay, so what I did, I had the lid on wrong. Okay, let me make sure. Okay, it's telling me that it's one. Okay. All right, we're, we're moving in the right direction. So now, if you were, let's just, let's just use this for an example. If you were to uh, just want to make one for yourself, we want you to use just two big scoops of the ice cream, okay? Now, we use the heavy whipping cream for our chicken pot pie. We're going to also use heavy whipping cream for this recipe, and it makes it so velvety, so creamy, so gorgeous, so much better than regular milk. Now, if you don't have this, you can use regular milk, and yours will still be delicious. Okay? So let's do it. Back in business. Yes, we are. Okay, so let me get the spoon that I desire. I just feel like using this spoon right here is going to uh, help me to grab a nice amount versus my little teeny tiny scoop. Okay. So now I really got to put some strength in to grab this ice cream. Look how much I grabbed, just a tiny bit. Because it's frozen, you know. I thought about put, taking the ice cream out of the freezer for a little bit before I went live. And then I told myself, if you do that, you're going to forget it and it's going to completely melt. And I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So I left it in the freezer and it's frozen. He did it in the microwave? <laughs> See, Life's Beauty said, uh-uh, I want ice cream now. <laughs> I didn't know you could throw it in the microwave for a minute. Is that right? Well, I tell you what, this big spoon is working. So we're okay. I want to try to make enough so I can make three of them real quick. And guess what? I wish y'all were here. Uh-oh, I know, Ron. It is too many crazy folks to have a meet and greet. I would be too scared. I'd have to have the police right with, I'd have to have police right beside me. Because here's the thing, everybody don't like you. Not you, but everybody don't like people. And there are crazy cuckoo people out there. You know what I mean? I would be terrified to do a meet and greet. And I have, uh, I do not want to do a meet and greet. We can meet and greet here every Wednesday and Saturday and have a, and have a fun time doing it, right? 
Oh, the deep freezer, it does, it gets so cold, right? Now see, this was just in my regular freezer. Oh, okay, okay, Deborah. I put the ice cream in the microwave, is it? Yeah, see, and I, that's what I'll do. I'll put it in the microwave, forget about it too. All right, come on, ooh. That's make, making me grit my teeth. I'm using all of the strength that I have. Ooh -wee. All right, uh-huh. Wonder how much I'm gonna need. I'm sure Dakota won't mind me making a whole bunch, huh? Look at him smiling. He won't mind me making too much, will you? All right, just one more scoop. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we can move on. We got a nice amount of ice cream, okay? If someone wants to use, make, if someone wants, I didn't understand your message, Ron. Ice cream depends on how many people. Yes, it does. Okay, so here is the really, really fun part. Heavy whipping cream. Okay, come in camera so the people can see. Heavy whipping cream to thin it out. Look at this. Oh, look how velvety it's going to be. Nice. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put some green food coloring in. Yes, we are. How exciting. Don't get nuts with it. Put about five drops. Whoop! That's about three drops, right? Okay. There's four drops. And that's five. So, if at any time we feel like it's just not the color that we're looking for, then you can always come back and, you know, put more in, okay? This is fun. This should be a recipe that's like mistake free, okay? So now, I'm going to put the mint in here. Um, this is peppermint extract. Don't get too wild with that, okay? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. But you want to be able to taste the mint. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now we're going to put the lid on. Only thing that we have done is we put our mint extract, green food coloring, we put heavy whipping cream, and now let's blend it. If at any time it's way too thick, then we're just going to drizzle some more milk or heavy whipping cream in, okay? Let's blend this baby up. <laughs> yep. Okay, okay, I see you. Let's put some more in, okay? It's the heavy whipping cream. We're going to thin it out. Okay. This is exciting. Okay, I need more. More, more, more. Heavy whipping cream or milk. Boom, bam, boom, boom. I can smell. Now, this is the color that y'all are looking for, right? I know it is. I know it is. Now, um, what the heck was I getting ready to say? I don't know. <laughs> It must not have been that important. Okay, we're getting there. Listen, I got a big chunk of ice cream right at the top. Come on. Let's see, if I can get that to blend, we'll be done.
like, I think this is it. I think this is it. The peppermint smells so beautiful right now. C come in with the camera. I want that camera to come in on top. Okay, look at this. Somebody please, is that what you're wanting? Ha <laughs> ha, is that what you are wanting? I, I know, I gotta taste. I have to. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't come in and taste it. I have to. Mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Where's my green? Today is not St. Patrick's Day. Here's my green. Come in so the person can see. I'm, I'm tattooed. <laughs> now, so I taste the mint. It's delicious. This is gorgeous. I'm happy with the color. If you wanted to make this a little bit darker, put more food coloring in. Now, I still have a thick bowl of ice cream in here. So we have to thin it out, okay? And the way we're gonna do that is put more heavy cream in or milk. And let's just keep blending it until we get that big piece of ice cream, you know, chopped down a little bit, okay? Almost. Look, she took her. She said, I'm the wearing socks off. Look at her. Look at Sonia's message. <laughs> Look at the picture. <laughs> Sonia, you are so funny. Sonia, that is so funny. Every time I see that, where somebody says, they took socks and everything. It's just so funny every time I see that. All right, there it is. It's done. It's so exciting. Okay, great color. This is the color that I've seen people use. for their shamrock shake. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put it in something pourable so we can pour it into our, um, into our glasses. So, and, and make sure that you have the maraschino cherries. Everybody loves a beautiful cherry on top of a shake, right? <laughs> All right. So we're going to put one on there, one or, or however many else you want. You can put one at the bottom to surprise somebody. But if you put one at the bottom, it will change colors, you know? All right, so let's get this open if I can. Got the food going. Like I said, we plan on cooking our food for about maybe 45 minutes till it's nice, beautiful, and golden brown. I'm going to pour some of this liquid off of here. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. I gotta be real careful with this because there is a blade inside of here, okay? Okay, so since this is pourable, uh-oh, hold on, uh-oh, a little thick. There we go. Now we'll be able to pour it into our glass. Oh man, I went over. Okay. Is there anybody out there that's excited about this? And if you get it on the outside of your dish, nobody freak out. You can always wash it off, okay? Wipe it off with a paper towel, okay? All right. I have to. Mm -hmm. All right, let me grab 
I want it to taste, the peppermint tastes so good. Woo, okay. Clean your glass up. There you go. Should I be cooking with a hairnet on? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just thought of that again. You have to be kidding me in my own house. Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, do you remember the song that was in your head? It, it was called, um, oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> Shamrock shake for you. Gina Young style, you hear me? Listen here. Come on in. Happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy St. Patrick's Day to each and every one of y'all. I love you guys so much. And I couldn't be more excited to make this here for you all. Y'all ask me. You asked me for it, and we made it. How exciting. Prime time, how are you? You made it. Welcome in, Deion Sanders. 21 more minutes. Thank you, Ron. Valencia says, it looks delicious. It's a work of art, says Patty. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and look. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ooh-wee, take a picture. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I got, I got another cup to fill. And like I said, if it goes all over the place, just wipe your cup down. You know, no worries. And if you need to make more, you see how easy it was made. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. All right. How interesting, right? So where's the Cool Whip? Here it is. Does this need to be wiped? Okay. I'm going to make me some, says Chaser. <laughs> Chaser said, Gina, I'm, I'm making me some. All right, let me see. <laughs> Take this to your dad. You can have this one. Take this one to your dad, okay? Oh, yeah, that's yours. Take this to your dad. <laughs> I'm going to taste this for y'all and let y'all know what you think. Let y'all know what I think, okay? Gina, Lynette has a question. Lynette, what's your question? I have to go watch the replay because it came in late. Okay, Lorraine, that's fine. No problem. Gina Young be eating good. Now, I'm, I'm not going to uh, drink all this. I, I could. I don't want to, though. Mm. Mm. Listen, the mint is so interesting. This is so beautiful and refreshing. Do you hear me? Mm. There you go. Everybody that wanted this, mm. cheers. <laughs> so guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do? Oh, I forgot I had some more. I'm going to turn around and uh, come around in front of the camera. Was he awake? I'm going to come around in front of the camera, and we can chit-chat until the time or chicken pot pie comes out, okay? So if that's okay with you, so minty, it's not real minty, it's delicious. I didn't put a whole lot of mint in there. Because you can taste the vanilla ice cream, you know? Give me one, Gina, says Saj. <laughs> Absolute, listen. Guys, like I tell you, I totally wish that I could cook for y'all. 
I wish everything that I make on these lives that y'all could taste them. I really do. I really do, Saj. But I tell you what, for now, you can make my recipe, you know, and, and you can experience what I'm tasting when you cook along with me. Because these recipes, they be easy. They be easy. Like, like this. So easy. And you can make it. And then after you make it, message me and let me know what you think. Absolutely. I want, let's see, I want this water. I'm going to drink a little bit of this. I'm coming around and we can chit chat just for a little bit. Because I think we only got like 10 or 15 minutes for the food to continue to cook. Okay, now's the perfect time. If you need to clean up anything, go ahead and start cleaning up. Okay, I hope y'all are having a good time here at the Young's house today. Uh-oh, Christopher says, Sonia, you started it. <laughs> I need you, when I go back around that way, I need you to plug the computer back in. Oh, and guess what I got, y'all? Guess what I got? So, I, I um, spoke of my dad would always eat his ice cream with the salted pretzel rod. So I have pretzel rods here, and I'm going to dip my salted pretzel rod into the um, shamrock shake. Marsha says, thank God I'm here. You want, you want to taste it? OK, there you go. Been so many years since I had a pretzel rod, y'all. Oh my goodness. Years. Oh, somebody says, so what was the song that was in your head? Well, it's a song called um, I Am Your Mother, You Listen to Me, right? And and <laughs> and I just had that song in my head and I couldn't get rid of it. All right, here I come, y'all. Jeannie Young is back. And we're going to chat just for a little bit. Yes, the pretzels. Forty-five minutes will be up at 545. Okay, let me look at the time. Oh, that's great. Okay. Mmm. It is. It's a salted pretzel, and I want to try it. I just, here, I know somebody wants some. Here, turn that light away from me. Turn that light. Let's see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ha, ha, ha. You should go ahead and sing it. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, not today. Okay, Alan, thank you for coming in. See you later, Maria. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Latika, did you change your name? Did Latika, Latika, is that you? Change your name? Did you change your name, Latika? Mm. The red cherries are called Marchino cherries. Marchino cherries. Yeah. Oh, so sexual chocolate is Latika Osby. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, they are called uh, maraschino cherries. Look at the green on my fingers. Y'all will probably see this green on my fingers for the next couple days. Now, <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. let me have a paper towel, please. Thank you, Patty, for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> Gina, you got a green thumb. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm hmm. Mm. This is fun. I have a green thumb. You say use alcohol. Did you say use alcohol and pure ale? Okay, to get it off. Okay. Oh, you're gonna go get you a smoothie now? I can't I can't have all this sweetness, but I tell you what, it's definitely delicious. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> said, I'm on my way. <laughs> it, I feel like my teeth have turned green. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I feel like they turned green without him putting it on my toothbrush. Mm. I'm done. I just pushed the whole cup over there. Mm. But I tell you what, it's good, it was fun and easy. Oh, you like that song? Yeah. Oh, you use baby oil to remove food coloring. Okay. Oh, okay. Listen, somebody just said, watch out for a brain freeze, right? I'm going to tell you all the funniest thing about me. This may be totally nuts, but it's true. Now, my husband would always tell me, like if we had a slushy or ice cream or something really cold, he'll say, "Ooh, brain freeze." He'll he'll be like, "I can't, I can't drink it too fast. I get a brain freeze." I have never had a brain freeze a day in my life. Never. But guess what? Right here on my chest. Like literally right here, like kind of just a little ways from my throat, like where this G is. My chest hurts. I get what you call a chest freeze. I call it a chest freeze. It doesn't hurt my uh, brain. My head doesn't hurt, but it hurts right here. And I'll be like, oh, well, everybody's getting the brain freezes. I'm getting the chest freeze. That is so weird, right? <laughs> oh, uh-uh, no, you know I ain't. Uh, wait, y'all asking me to sing today. Uh-uh. Yes, a chest freeze. It is so weird, right? It is interesting, right? Oh, Tara said I get a stomach freeze. <laughs> It is very different. And it's so similar to where you guys will be like, oh, my head, don't, don't drink it too fast. I go straight to my chest and I say, oh, man, what the heck? Okay. I'm going to take the microphone off right now. Okay. We're going to go check the food. What do you have going on with this tripod? I can't set it up straight, Dakota. You be bending the cord and then I can't, it won't sit up straight for me. Okay, Gina, talk to your doctor about drinking thyme tea. Chocolate tea for mucus, you drink it. Okay, 
Oh, you said you get both, <laughs> the brain and the chest. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna look at my Popeye, okay? When I take a look at it, if it's done, if it's done, we'll take it out. But if it ain't done and need to stay in there for a little bit longer, I'm gonna let y'all know. But if it's done, I'm gonna flip the camera around and y'all can see what I'm doing, okay? But I'm gonna just tell y'all ahead of time. Now listen to me. I want for y'all to at least let this set for, let's just say 10 minutes before we eat it, okay? Oh, you're having real tail dip tonight. My goodness, that sounds good. Oh, he said there's seven minutes left. So we'll let it cook for seven minutes, okay? Go ahead and open the, free, open the uh, oven door for me so I can see what it looks like at least. How do you like to shake? Oh, his shake is gone. His shake is gone. <laughs> he said it was amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. My goodness. Okay, the pot pie is looking gorgeous. You hear me? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's wait that whole seven minutes, and then we'll take a look at it. I'm going to look at the crust and see if I'm happy with the color, making sure that crust is done. We'll let it sit for 10 minutes. We'll say an amazing prayer, and then y'all going to get to taste it. Richard Ratliff, how you doing? Alice Moore says, I'm just getting on here. What is the meal for today? The meal for today was chicken pot pie. And I also made a dessert. And that dessert was a shamrock shake for... Um, what, what's it called? Shamrock Shake for um, St. Patrick's Day. Somebody says, Miss Karen, are you from Atlanta? <clears throat> I'm gonna come around this way. Oh, okay. I tell you what, it smells good in here. Somebody out there, I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Did you think the recipe was easy? Be honest, and if you thought it was hard, let me know. Was it easy for you to follow along with me if you cooked with me? Be honest, so, so I can know what you're thinking. Thank you. The, the person that said it's nice in the background, thank you. I'll show you the puppies after we eat, okay? Really? Okay. Gina, you ever tried pretzels with French onion dip? I haven't. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Four more minutes left, okay. It was easy to follow along with you, and I appreciate that, okay. Saj said it's easy. It was easy to follow, okay. See, see, that's what I like to do. That's what I really like to do. Because I'm always hoping and wondering. Oh, you can imagine how good it smells, okay. Oh, he said he can, Ron says he can do this one just fine. Okay, I'm always hoping, and I'm always wondering, like, did they think this was easy? Did they think it was hard? Um, I'm always wondering, like, what did they think? Did, you know, because I, <clears throat> excuse me, because I want it to be easy. Oh, the Gina, the chocolate was wrong just the time. Okay, okay. It's easier than I thought, Gina. Okay. Okay, so Doris says, I didn't cook with you, but it does look easy. Okay, that's great. Okay. Oh yeah, you can make a chicken pot pie with biscuits, uh-huh. 
I don't, I hate time. Who said that? Because you know me, whoever you are. Jeanette says, I don't think Gina likes time. I can't stand time. So the person, but I tell you what, if the doctor did tell me, yes, do the time, the time drink or whatever, I would totally do it. Because like I said, thank you, Sonia. Uh, like I said, it, it's beginning to get a little frustrating with the mucus stuck in my chest. And when I'm sleeping, I'm coughing. It's like, the, I think I woke my husband up this morning with all the coughing. Okay, Wanda, that's great. Mm-hmm. I have made Puerto Rican empanadas. Mm-hmm. And I just use the pre-made empanada dough, filled that baby up, and it was delicious. Right, that's good. I'm seeing a lot of people saying, Gina, it was easy. Susan, I'm doing well. How are you? The only thing that was hard is what? Oh, was not eating at all. Okay. Now, somebody says something about Marie Collender. Uh, let me just say this. Okay, the time is up. Okay. When it comes to Marie Collender's pot pies, I'm not a fan. I'd rather get like the banquet or the no name brand pot pies frozen. Guess what? I feel like Marie Collender, they have so much pie crust. And it's just like a little tiny bit of filling and all, all this pie crust. And I'm like, see, mm mm. I'd rather have Banquet or No Name Brand and I can be satisfied. I want for the pie crust and the filling to kind of be equal. Sometimes you can have a little too much crust and it'll really ruin it. And I feel like I have I got that when I had a Marie Collender pot pie. I just wasn't happy with it. Encore, yeah. Yeah, Miss Karen. See, Miss Karen says the same thing. Now, you know, and I'm not saying that I don't like Marie Callender foods because I do. Turtle pie is too sweet. I don't know if I've ever had that. Unless you're pulling my leg. I, I don't know if you're pulling my leg with the turtle pie. <laughs> All right, y'all. Time to check the food. All right. I'm going to check it. If it's ready, I'm turning the camera around. Y'all can see how gorgeous it is. But if it needs to cook a little bit longer, let's see. That is right. The crust and filling should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too much. Like I said, I felt like I had too much crust. All right, let me check. I'll be right back. I want to let it go for about eight more minutes. Let's let it cook for about eight, eight more minutes, okay? Just because, what's the reason? Well, I feel like there's some pieces on my crust that's not that golden brown that I'm wanting. I do have the golden brown color all on top, but I feel like there's some crust that didn't get brown like I want it. So let's give it about seven, eight minutes, and then at the seven, eight minute mark, we're definitely taking it out no matter what, okay? All right, is that mine? Where, is it plugged up? Plug it up and get those done. You want that? You want this? Okay, 
and that right there can be scraped. She does, Phil. Let's see what Phil is saying. Oh, chocolate cinnamon brownies. That sounds good. Let's see what Phil is saying. Phil, hey, Gina, just an idea. You might post recipe ingredients prior to the live streams so we can have them ready. Recipe is very easy, though. Okay, Phil, if you are new to my channel, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Now, what I always do, Phil, is in the community post, <clears throat> I put a message out stating what I'm going to be cooking, what time I'm going to be cooking, Eastern Standard Time, what day I'm going to be cooking, what I'm going to be cooking. And then I say, if you would like to cook along with me, here are the ingredients below. Always do it. Okay? So if you ever would like to cook with me, or anybody would ever like to cook with me, there's always community posts. Okay? And, and then sometimes I'll refer, I'll say, the ingredients are in my post from yesterday. Or I'll put it in the post from today. Always do it. I always give y'all a chance to get the ingredients you'll need so you can cook along with me, okay? Because this is a cook-along live where you all can cook with me. So I always, always, always post the ingredients so you can cook with me, okay? So here's the thing that you need to do. Always make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notification bell is on so you can be notified when I post that community post letting you know what day, what time, what I'm making, and put the ingredients. So you can get that notification, so you can run out, grab your ingredients, and we can cook together, okay? I always do feel. And like I said, I, Ty, how you doing? Uh, I, I believe that I'm going to reincorporate Mondays back again. Jeannie Young cooking live again on Mondays, okay? We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm kind of thinking like 90% that I want to, but I'll be for sure. I'll let y'all know for sure whether I want to start doing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And make sure you don't get that computer wet. You hear me? Hello, Ty. How you doing today? Eula, how you doing? Latrice C. Let's see. So, okay, so Christopher says, Saj, that's facts. It's all a get rich scheme. What, what are you talking about? Let's see. Oh, it does. You said it, it have recalls and stuff? Yeah. That would. It would make... Ooh, who's saying that? I like that. It would make Mondays better. Jeanette, is your name Janetta? Yes, it would. Yes, it would. Or Jeanette. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it because... I used to, before I had my surgery, um, I was doing Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. But then when I came back, I wanted to kind of ease into it, and I'm just doing Wednesdays and Saturdays. We'll, we'll, we'll see if I reincorporate Monday. I, I'm thinking that I want to. Food, I, listen, I feel like, April, how you doing? I feel like um, meats don't taste the same. I can remember years ago when I turn around and eat a steak, right? Four minutes left, okay. I can remember there was a time when I would eat a steak and the steak was so delicious, right? But now, I'm finding that you can go out 
and get a steak, purchase a steak, and it just, it don't taste the same. And I don't understand why. <laughs> I hate I hate that because when I long for a steak or I want a steak, I want the steaks that I remember, you know, years and years ago. I just feel like you be careful when you're washing that because there's a sharp blade in there. You hear me? You hear me? Okay. Oh, you hate oatmeal, but you like oatmeal pies. <laughs> yes, yeah, Saj, there's a lot of, yep, yep. Any any plans for when you hit a million? There's a lot of plans in my head, but we'll, 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 we'll just see. We'll see. I'm going to keep you all updated, and we're going to do something really fun. Oh, you don't like moon pies, is that right? Oh, let me see. He said meats are not grass-fed anymore. If you want good meat, you have to buy grass-fed. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I believe that. Oh, Peach Sangria said you took the words right out of my mouth, Ron. <laughs> he says, I hate oatmeal too, but I love oatmeal pies. There's something that I, see, I don't like bananas, right? But I love banana bread, banana flavor candies, banana pancakes. You know, it, it's weird. I'd be like, okay, yeah, I don't understand that because I just don't like bananas. But I like banana pudding, <laughs> you know? Yes, thank you. Nothing like a good old ribeye steak. Oh my goodness. I, 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 I'm ready to go out on the grill. Put some steaks on the grill. Mm, mm, mm. I love a good steak on the grill. Banana nut bread, yeah. What's your favorite type of steak? My Holy King says. Um, Dakota, you need soap on there. Put some soap on there. You can't wash those dishes with just hot water. What? Everybody listening to you too. Everybody listening. Soap. So, no. Put get some soap before I knock you out. Oh, what's my favorite? Okay, so he said, what's your favorite steak? My favorite steak, time is up, okay. My favorite steak would be, it has to be the ribeye. Because I like that marbling. I like, you know, what's marbling? Well, it's the fat that goes through the steak. I, I like steak fat. And if it's seasoned good, it tastes so good. And it keeps your steak juicy. So I have to say the ribeye steak. Steak with onions and mushrooms, yes, Saudi. Okay, so what am I gonna do? You gotta move your dishes, cause I'm getting ready to take this, the food out, okay? Oh, you like a T-bone. I feel like um, when I was younger, my dad would eat the T-bone steaks. But I, like I said, I like the ribeye. Wipe that camera, uh, wipe the uh, counter down. I'm getting ready to come around. Gina is serious about that soap. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> oh, Lord. I said, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> he, but he had soap in the sponge, y'all. You know, because I like to have hot soapy water in the dishwater. He had soap in his sponge that he was cleaning with. And when I didn't see the water, I was like, okay, 10, 9, Eight. I had to say something to it because I started counting in my head. All right, y'all, let's get the food out, okay? It doesn't taste the same. I know, I know, I know. Oh, T-bone with three, three, um, what, did you say three eggs over easy? Oh, I'm going to take this out and then I'm going to wash my hands, okay? I gotta show somebody how gorgeous this is. Did somebody say, oh my goodness. Girl, listen here, you didn't come to play with them. 
in the day, did you? Heck no, we didn't. We came to make chicken pot pies because Derek eats at school. <laughs> yeah, we did. Derek eats at Gina. When are you going to make chicken pot pies? And I said, you know what, Derek? I said, Saturday. We're doing it Saturday. Here we are. We have beautiful chicken pot pie. Right? So now, I don't even need to do anything with this right now. Let's let it cool down. How long? We're going to let it cool down for 10 minutes, and then we're going to come back and eat. Okay? So how about we say a prayer right now? Okay? So let's go ahead. Derek, he said, oh, wait. That pie deserves a photo shoot. Thank you. It's gorgeous. I can't wait. I can't wait for the crust. So let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. Lord, I thank you for each and every person that's in this chat. I pray that you bless over their lives and you keep them safe. Thank you, Lord, for this food that we eat today. Thank you, Jesus, for the roof over our head, the joy and the peace that you give us. Please give us a peace of mind. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you have no authority. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy, your love, time, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this family reunion. And the reason why I say family reunion is every time we do come and join each other in this way, it feels like a family reunion. And I'm so grateful for the relationship that I have with you all. Heavenly Father, please bless over our lives and keep us safe. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Please bless over their finances in Jesus Christ's name. We pray for all the homeless and starving that they get a place to lay their head and a meal to eat. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give it 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to slice down into this baby. We're having chicken pot pie here at the Young's house. Gina Young's house. Tell your friends. Tell everybody you know. Tell them about Gina Young. Uh-huh. Tell them. Amen. Yes. Get that uh, light. Turn that light away from me. Oops. In the matchless, I, I didn't get to see that message. A little bit says, I want a big bite, a big plate. Thank you. You know, it, it's, it's really fun to make. And I love, I, I totally love, I call this my technique. I, I, I just do. I don't know if that's true. But I, I really do call this my technique. What I came up with years ago uh, with the pie crust. I love how I can take a pre-made pie crust that's delicious, flap that baby right on top of the other one, seal it, bake it, and it's delicious. It's like so much fun, and it's stress-free. Heck yeah, we could turn around, right? Listen to me. We could turn around and make a homemade pie crust, but I feel like if I would have made a homemade pie crust, nobody would have been cooking with me, right? A pie crust can be difficult. And also a pie crust needs to, after you make it up, you need to set it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And ain't nobody nowadays got time for that, right? So if you don't have time for it, find a delicious pie crust that you like, do this with it, dinner will be on the table in no time. I, I am not a person that's afraid to say that I like to use a lot of pre-made stuff. Yes, and it's going to be good. Like when I make a cake, like when I make a cake, y'all know I like to use the boxes. And I, we can bump it up, but it always tastes good. The box cake mixes have never let me down. Versus measuring out your flour, measuring out the brown sugar, the white sugar, all of that stuff. When it comes in a bag and all you got to do is pour it and put your eggs and oil in your set, listen here. 
Sometimes it's about having a delicious recipe, making it quickly, and not having to slave in the, in the, in the kitchen forever. You know? And this right here is one of those recipes. Look at my finger. <laughs> Box cake mix has always failed you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he said it's always failed you. Oh my goodness. How about turkey pot pie? Okay, a little bit. So let's just say you wanted to make that turkey pot pie. You're gonna do the exact same thing that we did today. Exact same thing. Michelle says, yes, baking is a science. It, 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 it is. And, it, and sometimes for some people, it can be a little tricky, you know, because if you don't measure things right and level things off, it could be a catastrophe, <laughs> you know. Make sure that gets nice and clean, okay? And you wipe that counter down. My mother used to bake them from scratch. It was delicious. But no one has time for that nowadays. I know. I know. I know. Gene, I use a refrigerator pie crust for my pot pie. Oh, yeah. It's good. No, no, no. You can. I, I've used that kind, too. You can use both. Both of them's delicious. They're both going to turn out perfect, okay? So the kind, the refrigerated kind where you just roll it out and put it on there, that's fine too, okay? You can use both. Uh-oh, Char says, I'm, I'm totally making this. Seven more minutes. Okay, this is great. Hold on, bear with the camera, okay? Give me a second. I got to fix this where... Hold on. I don't want to make y'all dizzy. Make everything look so easy. Well, that's great. Thank you. I'm always hoping I can make it to where it, it's, it's really easy. Cooking should never be stressful. It should not be hard. It should not be where, you know, you're just totally like, oh, heck no. I'm not doing this again. You want to say, this is easy. I, I want to do this again, you know? Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Thank you. You said it looks good. Thank you, Prime Time. Lance Redrick from The Wire. Let's see, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, it's a great actor, okay. What crust did you use? I used Marie Callender crust. <laughs> I used Marie Callender crust. I know that's funny, right? But then I was just talking about Marie Callender's crust. But I'm talking about, that. that is funny, Sonia, right? But don't get me wrong, this, I feel like it's different. And the reason why I feel like it's different is because those frozen pot pies are much smaller, and yet I can still say it has a whole lot of crust. These are bigger crust, thinner crust, our pot pies is much bigger, okay? So hopefully y'all can understand that. That is kind of funny. <laughs> yes, that is true. Absolutely. <laughs> That's so funny. She, Gina, how's Mr. Young? His finger is doing okay. He is having pain from it. But the finger's healing. So he's got, you know, six weeks to go. If it's not fixed in six weeks, they want him to wear it for another six weeks. And then after that, if it's not fixed, they will do surgery. Okay, what's this person saying? Deborah, I might try the crust at first, but nothing else. <laughs> yes, I did, Sonia. Even though I said I'm not a fan of a Popeye's. 
I like it Gina Young style, using their crust, <laughs> but not on little pot pies, because <laughs> it's too much crust. <laughs> Now, there's a Pillsbury deep dish. It's a deep dish, too. Um, there's a Pillsbury crust. Comes frozen. They, they always come with two crusts when you buy them frozen, okay? Thank you, Eula. I will tell him. Um, when you purchase the crust like this, they will come uh, froze, frozen, and they have two pie crusts on top. Oh, okay. Three more minutes, okay. I love pot pie and the crust. I wish there was a way to make extra crust crumble on my portion. Oh, okay. Well, I tell you what, you could totally, I'm, I'm saying, let's just say for the person that says, I love pie crust. I wish I could make extra. Well, I tell you what you could just totally do. You could purchase an extra pie, <clears throat> excuse me, an extra pie crust, bake that baby off until it gets crispy and golden brown, and then you can have that on the side to eat with it. If you don't feel like the amount of crust that you get when you slice yours, bake off another pie crust just by itself. You do? Okay, Gay. Uh, what's your name? G Galen? Is your name Galen? Let me see. Gail Galen Brown. I'm back. My internet has been going in and out all day. Not sure what's going on. Oh, Derek, I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, Wildberry. How are you? Okay, so I said your name right. Okay. My whole, have you ever had ostrich eggs? No. I have never, and I don't think that I would want to. I don't think that I would want to have an ostrich egg. Uh-uh. No, it's too big. Gina, this is Marcel Davis in Chipley, Florida. With you again. Hope it's all well. It's got special... For today. Uh, Marcella, thank you for coming in and joining us. Everybody, welcome, Marcella. Okay, the time is up. Is there anybody out there that's ready to eat chicken pot pie, Judy Young style? Welcome, Marcella. Thank you for coming in. Applesauce pie. I've never heard of it. Ostrich egg, no, listen. The yolk is about this big, uh, Derek. The yellow yolk is about this big, right? Oh, it's, uh-uh, that's too much for me, right? And then the egg white, oh, man. See, I just, uh-uh, I, I, I don't want to try it. And I think the ostrich egg is green, like a dark, dark hunter green. The chicken pot pie was done. You said you don't want to burn it. It should have already been out, okay? And you should have been resting it for 10 minutes, okay? I'll ask, yeah, I'll ask the doctor about the time too. All right, let's cut down into this chicken pot pie. All right, I'm gonna need that, um, um, I need that white plate that has the little lip with the blue on it. You know what I'm talking about. Let's see, you said, okay, you're welcome. My last name is Douglas. I am Talk Taxi. Okay. All right. Let's get ready. I'm washing my hands here in just a second. I don't want the ostrich egg. Uh-uh, it's too big. It don't look regular. Let's 
Yeah, somebody is eating one right now, right? All right, put that camera on me. All right, I got a nice plate here. I can't wait to show you all. Let me wash my hands first. I cannot wait to show you all um, the inside. How gorgeous the inside is and how crispy the, the crust is. They just said they love your ring. They said what? Somebody said, well, I love your ring. Oh, thank you, April. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me see if I can find a good spatula. Let's see. Oh, you said the ostrich egg has to be cooked for a long time. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's still nice and warm, okay? Look at this crust here, hold on. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Mmm, it sure tastes good. All right. Cut down into that baby. Oh, it's so crispy. Mm, if you love Popeye, this is definitely the recipe for you. Really cut down into there, okay? Because you want to get that bottom crust as well. Remember, we have a top and a bottom crust. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This crust is so buttery mm, and crispy. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. How am I do it? How am I do it? How am I do it? Side of there because somebody right now is going total nuts over the inside of the pot pot. Now, as this sits, it will set up in such a way. Come back in, come back into this, come back into this. As it sets, it will set up and it won't be as look at that. That's nothing but chicken on there. Oh my goodness. That's okay. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. We're going to eat this. And listen here. If you didn't cook this today with Jeannie Young, it's okay. You guys, it's so good. It's so good. You can always cook this another day, okay? <laughs> We're going to eat this together. I just made something so good. All right, you're going to get to see it. You're going to get to see it. Turn the, turn the, uh, turn the messages off. I probably could eat the whole pie. T take your messages off and you can really see. 
us. Look at the eyeballs. <laughs> All right, this is it. Now, let's look at the crust. There's that crispy, gorgeous, golden brown crust that you're looking for. Right? This is so easy, so much fun. You definitely got to make it. I know, I know, Denise says, oh my goodness. This is it, this is it. You want, y'all wanted to know how to make it. <laughs> Somebody please call 911. <laughs> yeah, let me see what, is that mine? Oh, okay. The crust is crusting. <laughs> the crust is crusting. Where are the dogs at? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, for the person that said that they love the crust, I got green on my finger, don't, don't pay that, no, never mind. There is that crust. It's crispy, it's buttery, it's fully cooked. Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the song I always sing. All right. So now, let's go in for that filling. Okay? And I got crust on there, too. Look, I got the crust. And we got the filling. No, you don't have to add this. This crust is perfect. Hold on. Somebody said, like, you need to brown it some more. No, you don't. Look at this. Like, wipe your camera off. Look at this. This is golden brown. You don't want to burn this. This is golden brown. You don't want to burn this. That's crust. Look at that. Oh, and that's what the inside looks like. I'm going in. Hot dog. You do. Helen, you must make yourself. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You must make yourself. Hot diggity dog. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I love that we put onions in here. The corn. The carrots. The green beans. The chicken. And guess what, April? Thank you. When you come back to eat, eat it later, it's still going to be delicious. That crust is still going to be crispy. This is gorgeous. Mm. Ah, so sage. Mm -hmm. It is, Nicole. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. You're welcome, Wanda. <laughs> Gina, can you deliver it, DoorDash? <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> You're about to call Maria. <laughs> Cheryl, you got to make it. You see how easy it was. Ron, you see how easy it was? Derek Eads, you see how easy? Mm hmm mm hmm Yes, it was. Simple and easy a little bit. Mm hmm Lots and lots of flavor. And I tell you what, 
you ain't missing out on no filling. You're not missing out on the chicken. The vegetables, the potatoes are gorgeous in there. Right? Look at that big piece of chicken. That's chicken right there. You buy it frozen. You ain't getting a big piece of chicken like this, are you? It is. Yum. Mm-hmm. 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 No, Debbie, it's easy. Marie Collender. The hardest recipe yet. Mm. It's easy. You're welcome, Jeanette. Mm hmm. Yes, that's why I'm glad that I can come in and show y'all that these recipes that you long for, these recipes that y'all be wanting, I can show you how to make it the easy way. That's delicious. Because a lot of people won't try something because most of the time they think it's a hard recipe. And they think, the heck with that, I ain't making it. When it's so much better than the frozen, you're going to have all kinds of leftovers left over. And uh, it, it, it's worth the, the wait, that 45 minutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Big pieces of chicken in there. Try this with seafood. Try it with beef. Mm. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you don't want to do the meat, try it with just the vegetables and the cream of mushroom soup. It'll be delicious. Oh, there went the crust. Okay. It would, Saj. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what kind of seafood I would put in there, but for those of you that love seafood like that, oh my goodness. You would have a ton of fun making that recipe. Mm. I don't know what we're doing for Easter, but I'm definitely going to do an Easter recipe for you all. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Delicious. Oh, you said shrimp, crab, maybe lobster. Mm-hmm. Marie Collender is a name brand. Mm -hmm. It's the pie crust that I used. But what I was saying is I'm not a fan of their pot pies. But I like the crust. So I purchased the crust, made my own pot pie. It's knocked down delicious. rabbit stew for easter oh my goodness i i do too i like deviled eggs uh-huh uh-huh absolutely uh-oh gina can you answer my question about the tea you make for your cough. I, I'm not making any tea for my cough right now. Somebody in the chat was telling me about a thyme tea that I'm going to be asking the doctor about. Carmen says hello. Hello, how are you?
I'm going to give y'all another bite. I appreciate you all. Thank y'all for coming in and joining me today. I got a big piece of crust all here for y'all. And, and there's huge pieces of chicken. Look at that. Look at that. If that isn't, if that isn't pot pie, I don't know what is. It was so easy to make. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Thank you, Lord. Let me back up on the pot pie a little bit. Mm. Come here, honey. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, y'all. I'm going to show y'all the dogs. Because I, I told y'all I'm going to show them to you. Come here. Come here. Look at his haircut. Oh my goodness. Show them your haircut. <laughs> Show them. You kissing me. You kissing me. Look. Come here, honey. Come here. Hold on. They got their haircut. Look. Oh. Look how cute they are. Oh. Yes. They're so clean. Oh, my husband took them to get their hair cut, nails clipped. They had a bath. Look at me spoiling them. Look how I rock them. Just automatically. Look at their little feet. So this is Prince right here. He's a, he got a baby face. And this is Polo. They came from the same litter. They are brothers. And they're teacup morkies. Look, look, can you say hi? Look at the people. Look at the people, honey. Look, don't kiss me. You keep kissing me. I love you. You good boy. Mm, good babies. Yes, look how clean they are, guys. Look at their hair. Now they don't have hair all in their eyes. Yeah, hair and nails and everything. You good boys? Uh, can you say hi? Yes. Ain't they sweet? <laughs> mm, I love you. I love you. Good boy. <laughs> Listen, you all, I had such a great time with you all today. Uh, next time y'all will see me, it just might be Monday. But we'll see. I'll keep y'all in the realm of everything and I'll let you know. So we're going to do another great recipe um, whenever it is, whether it's Monday, Wednesday, or Saturday. Give me a hug. Give me a big old hug. I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. I hope y'all had a great time today because I sure did. I had a great time teaching you all a great recipe. Hey, listen, and you got to see how the shamrock shake is made. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. I love y'all. Excuse me, from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad I got to show y'all the puppies. <laughs> yes, I do. I need some rest. Give me a hug, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for being a part of my family. Thank you for loving and supporting me. You guys are absolutely amazing. Listen, <coughs> make you some chicken pot pie. And when you make it, make it Tina Young style. <coughs> absolutely. I love y'all. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to rest. Okay? I ain't getting no sleep last night. I was coughing half the night. <coughs> so... I'll see y'all in the flip-flop, okay? God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night. I love y'all. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome.